What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. In today's video, we're going to be counting down the top 10 spookiest products for you to dropship this Halloween 2024. So if you've been thinking about what products are going to be trending this Halloween, then make sure you check out this video all the way through because today I'm going to be giving you the top products that are trending, but I'm also going to give you a little bonus to help you make a little bit of extra money at the end. I'm going to be giving you an extra product that a lot of people have a few issues drop shipping with for a couple of reasons that we'll get into a little bit later. So if that's something that interests you, again, just make sure you check out this video all the way through. And if you want the cheat sheet with all of the different products and the links that I'm talking about in today's video, just make sure you comment the hashtag Halloween and let me know which one of these products is your favorite. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first product on today's list is gonna be a little USB night light, and it's gonna come in the shape of a little sad pumpkin. Why is the pumpkin sad? I'm not sure but apparently this product is trending a lot right now on social media and rightfully so because i've actually been seeing a lot and when i say a lot i mean i've been seeing a lot of halloween products in my case right now i've actually been seeing a lot of prints on demand halloween products but regardless it's still halloween popping up on my for you page so every time i get on tiktok and i start scrolling through all i see is halloween so right now is the time to start offering these types of products even though we are a couple of months away right now is the time that everyone's purchasing it everyone wants to be ready so you need to be ahead of the game so just taking a quick look at the product over here we can see that it's just a basic little night light with a few different timing settings apparently and it's it's actually a little bit bigger than i expected it to be but if you want to check out any content marketing tips if you want to check out any videos to maybe show you how you can start to advertise this product on social media like on TikTok, and maybe get on my for you page then you can check out these videos over here under the social ad section just go ahead and click on see the original ad on one of them and then you're going to see the video ad for this product now sometimes it's not necessarily an ad but rather just an unboxing video or something like that but either way these types of videos get a lot of engagement like look at this one right here so she's just kind of playing with it after she unboxed it. She's showing the different features. And oh, I guess that's why it's sad because you got to give it a little pat on the top. Looks like it hurts. But anyway, checking out the interactions, you can see that it's it's doing pretty good. Over 4,000 likes, 19 comments, and quite a good amount of saves. So 317 saves. And then if you just look through the comments, just looking through the first few, it's already social proof enough that this product is one of those that's gonna start trending, or if not, it's already trending. So love, too cute, second, it's so cute. Where did you get it? Oh, they got it from Amazon. Cute, I want it. And all of the rest of the comments are just completely positive, just adding to the social proof. So if you're looking for this product, if you wanna be able to source this product, you can find it over at our handpicked product section at autods.com. Now, if you don't have access to our handpicked product section or to the AutoDS platform, then right now is the time for you to get started because you can get started for just $1 for the next two weeks. In those two weeks, you can go ahead and import as many products as you need, start hustling, start creating your inventory of different products, maybe even open up your own Halloween store like Spirit Halloween. I don't know how many of you actually know about Spirit Halloween. Let me know if you do down in the comments below, but maybe you can create something similar to it, something that can really start to bring in the Halloween crowd and just use all of the different products that I'm showing you in this video. All right, next up at number two, we have Halloween wall-mounted hands. Hello, thing. Now, these are to add to the aesthetic of pretty much anywhere, whether it's people making a haunted house, which a lot of people do. A lot of people set up haunted houses to either raise money, raise money for fundraisers, or just have fun. And these are perfect props to be able to add to something like that. But besides that, people people love to just decorate their houses for almost any occasion or any holiday. Halloween being one of the most popular ones because people love the spooky season. People love the fall season. Me personally, I absolutely love it. But looking through Amazon, you can see there's quite a few different variations. And some of these different listings come with multiples. So looking at these, you can see that these actually are a four pack, which isn't bad for 25 bucks. You can see that there's also a three pack that's running for about the same price, $20, $26. So being able to offer a four pack, even sourcing it directly from Amazon, you can increase the price a little bit. And then you can just see a few different variations. Keep scrolling through, you're gonna find a few others, some of which are gonna be single, some of which are gonna be multiples and sets, and then just different styles. Now, let me give you a quick content creation or a marketing tip that you can use for pretty much all of the different products on this list. So. If you can, order a sample of everything on today's list. If you can't, that's totally fine. Order a couple, maybe one or two different ones, and try to find a place where you can completely turn off all the lights and maybe turn on one or two candles and simply just place these props. After you do that, just go ahead and dim all the lights, turn on a couple candles, 
and take your phone walk into the room make everything a bit creepy a bit eerie and just show off the different props from a few different angles maybe just look at them from the front and just start moving from side to side little things like this really create an experience or i guess a bit of an ambiance or it can show your viewers what they can potentially create now to add to this just go ahead and add some spooky music pretty much all of the music that you're going to find on tiktok is going to be essentially royalty free because a lot of it is just reused and then you can use that for your product videos whether you're drop shipping on tiktok or just sending people to the link in your bio just go to tiktok go to hashtag tiktok made me buy it and then look up halloween as your niche right next to it and then you can go through all of the different videos that you see here and just click on one of them let's take this one for example let's see how the music is time how do i do those halloween projections well the other night during my life so you can't really see it right now because it's on the desktop version but if you take it on the mobile version you're going to be able to see the sound and you're not going to get the guy that's talking what you're going to get is the music in the background so something like this would be perfect Same thing goes for one of these. You could use this voiceover, the It Finally Came voiceover, and as you're unboxing your products. Let me see if I can find a good example really quick for a Halloween one. I mean, that sound works too. I've seen that super popular. Y'all need to run and get these from the TikTok shop. And this one, this one's probably one of the most popular ones. So ignore her voice because that's not what we're here for. Even though you can actually take examples from what she's doing because she's got very good uh, interactions, 1,800 likes, 49 comments, but just pay attention to the music in the background. Chef, I got both of these for like $3 each. I don't know if they're still gonna be on sale. I will. It's kind of like that Harry Potter spooky-ish vibe to it. These are the types of sounds that you wanna look for to be able to add to the back of your videos. Trust me, these sounds right now are actually trending a lot. Getting closer to Halloween time, this is all you're gonna start seeing on social media and on TikTok. So I highly recommend that you start using a lot of these sounds. And if you're not even using social media, get on TikTok to promote your products because you're gonna be missing out if you're not doing that. All right, continuing on to number three, we have Halloween pillow covers. Now these aren't as spooky, but they do add to the vibe of the entire season throughout the house. So these are perfect, especially for people that love the season, people that love Halloween, which again, as I keep repeating, everyone loves Halloween, especially in the US. It's a huge, huge holiday. And I've even noticed that it's actually spreading to other countries. Back where I'm from, from Guatemala, before Halloween was never really a thing there. In the past few years, now it's actually starting to grow even more and a lot more people are starting to celebrate it. So you're starting to be able to get more of a worldwide reach with Halloween products than you used to. But as you can see, just looking over through the different pillow covers, there's a bunch of different ones that you can source. And the best thing about a lot of these is that for $14, right, you can get four different covers. And that's a very, very good price. A lot of the times you're going to go to Walmart and you can find maybe one of these running for about the same price for about 15 bucks, let alone four of them. You'll probably be spending maybe like 30 or 35, 40 dollars. All right. So up next, we have Halloween tree ornaments. Now, I know this sounds kind of crazy because... Halloween trees have never really been much of a thing, but recently I've been seeing a lot of these in the stores. So I actually went to a home store the other day and I saw an entire Halloween tree. My, my mind was blown. I've never seen it. I thought that was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And lo and behold, they actually had low inventory. So this is insanely trending right now and props to be able to put on these trees even more. So as you can see, a lot of the props that you have on here, a lot of the decorations, they're pretty much the same thing that you're going to find for Christmas, except Halloween themed. So you're going to have little jack-o'-lanterns. The little hanging ball ornaments are going to be Halloween colors like orange and black. You have all of the different gothic little Halloween ornaments. And if you keep scrolling, you're going to find a few different examples for trees like these right here, which you can find some like this. But then you also have the option to be able to sell an actual Halloween tree. So these are the ones that I've been seeing a lot of primarily these that are kind of bald because i mean it's the fall season so it makes sense but there's multiple sizes that you can offer some of which can even rival your regular christmas trees at like six or seven feet all right next we have halloween porch banners now when it comes to the porch banners there's going to be quite a few that you're going to find that are going to be copyright because it's just a huge thing especially with this right here nightmare before christmas as i always say stay away from that go for things that are a bit more generic like these right here Happy Halloween, welcome with the big skeleton on it. Then you also have one like this, which is Dia de los Muertos, which I, I guess it can be, it can kind of pass off as Halloween. Dia de los Muertos, I think, is November 1st to 2nd, so it's the day right after Halloween. But regardless, there's tons of different options that you can choose from. 
ranging from just basic signs that, you know, just say things like happy Halloween to other pieces that can actually start to transform your house or to transform whatever space that you're trying to put this in to make it a bit more spooky and to just add to the vibes. Like, look at these right here. These hanging banners actually make it look like you have these gothic pillars that are holding up your house and it really adds to the vibe. Up next at number six, we have Halloween jewelry. Now, Halloween jewelry, a lot of the times you're gonna get the perception or you're gonna get the thought of just plain gothic or black jewelry, but that's not the case at all. When it comes to Halloween jewelry, there's actually lots of different things that you can offer. Some of which can be just full on pieces of jewelry while others are gonna be little charms. Now, one thing that's very popular are these necklaces and matching earrings. So if you can match an earring with necklaces, so something like, let's say, this gothic necklace with these snake earrings, these would kind of go good together. Another combination that could go very well together would be something like this little necklace over here and these pumpkin earrings. Now, it's a different color, but if you can get these in gold or get this in silver, you can make something like a matching set. Now, as far as jewelry, there's tons of different products that you can offer, some of which are going to be cheaper, some of which are going to be a bit more expensive, some of which can have a higher perceived value than what it actually is. So let's take a quick example. Now, let's look at, you know what, let's look at these right here, these skull earrings. These skull earrings, they look like they could be your basic stainless steel earrings. You can sell them pretty cheap. You can sell them at $32. But if you brand them correctly, if you add a little bit of extra umph to your marketing, trust me, you can sell something like this, or especially the ones that are right next to it, even though they're not Halloween, but still. If you get down your marketing correctly and your branding, you can sell pieces of jewelry for way, way higher than they're sourced. Take it from somebody that used to work in jewelry. A lot of the pieces that they sell at designer stores, it's just brand names. It's really stainless steel products, which is pretty cheap with brand names on it, which it just increases the value tenfold. All right, next up we have Halloween door hangers. Now, as we all know, people like to put a lot of stuff on their doors, especially for times like Christmas. During Christmas, everyone puts wreaths in front of their door. It's kind of just like a traditional thing. Now, they have similar products for Halloween. So checking over on Amazon, you can see that they have a few different ones that you can choose from. They have the basic door hangers like these right here. These are really nice. They're actually very simple. And for 10 bucks, it's not bad. You can't go wrong with that. You can easily turn this around and flip it for about 24 bucks. But scrolling through some of the different options, let's see if I can find one of the Halloween reefs. I mean, you can see tons of different options that you can choose from. So you have different hangers with a few different styles like this one right here. This Welcome to Our Haunted House is actually really nice. This, this one right here, this is one of those cute items for Halloween that are going to really start selling a lot. Because another thing that I've noticed is that right now, a lot of the designs that I'm being shown on my For You page and stuff for different Halloween products, they're kind of like the cutesy Halloween style. So just keep that in mind. So I can't find, never mind, I found it right here. So this is a perfect example for a Halloween reef. It looks so cool. And honestly, it actually looks really, really nice. I think this is one of the cooler ones that I've seen. And the leaves don't necessarily look like they're flimsy. They look like they could be metal or aluminum. But just looking at one of these, you can see that the price is $41. Maybe you can offer it for about 45 bucks, but let's see if we can find it for cheaper. So what we can do is simply right click on our image and then go to search images with Google. And then if it doesn't automatically select it, just select the picture itself. And then we're gonna get this sidebar with all of the different places where you can source this same product. So on Amazon, we can find it for $41. You can still find it also at Bed Bath & Beyond, selling it on eBay for about 45 bucks too. Let's see if we could find it somewhere for cheaper. So I found this one over here. It's not the same one, but it's still a Halloween reef. And the only thing that it's missing is, well, I mean, it's kind of different than the other one. This one actually has a few props, like it has the bat, a few leaves, and it looks like it's, like it has more thorns and it's just missing all the leaves. I actually like this one a little bit more and look at the price, it's 16 bucks. So even though it is no longer available, you can just keep searching through all of the different options you have here, or simply just find the supplier that you found, like in this case, AliExpress, and look up Halloween Reef. So you just look up Halloween wreath. I was spelling it wrong this entire time. I was spelling it reef. And you have all of the different options. And as you can see, the pricing here is just, it's amazing. Like $3 for this one, it's fantastic. Even though the regular price is about 30 bucks, but take advantage of any welcome deals if you can. All right, so moving forward, the next product on this list is gonna be the Halloween Table Runner. So we've actually covered some of these before for different holidays, specifically for Christmas, because these are used a lot for Christmas. But one thing that table runners are used a lot for is gonna be for parties. So any Halloween parties, 
people are going to be looking for a table cover. Now, just so you know, there is a difference between a table cover and a table runner. Table runners are typically going to be these thinner ones that kind of just go in the middle, whereas a table cover is going to cover the entire thing. But you can offer both. You can offer both as different variations because either way, these are widely used for parties. Not just that, but also a lot of schools and a lot of corporate events source a lot of these for their different types of events. So that's another demographic that you can target. Now, up next on number nine, we have a classic, which is the Halloween cauldron. What Halloween party or what Halloween anything isn't complete without a witch's cauldron? This is a staple in Halloween, witches and their cauldrons. So why not offer this in your dropshipping store so people can add it to their house, to their decorations, whatever it is. Now, looking through the different options, you can see that you are going to have quite a few variations you can offer, some of which are going to be little decorations like this one, where it's just going to be just for pure decoration, whereas others are going to have a bit more functionality like these right here. This is a dipping station. This is really cool because you can just fill this up with, I don't know, guacamole, salsa and and maybe cheese and just have it as a different dip station. And that's actually also another way that you can market this product. Let's say you decide to go with one of these. That's one perfect thing you can do. You order one, make a few different sauces, make a sign in front of it that says something like, I don't know, for the salsa, something that you could say like blood dip. The cheese can be something else. I don't know what, what, can, what can you associate with cheese? Pumpkin dip or something like that. And then for the guac, just put something like puke or boogers. I don't know, just something that adds to the Halloween feel, the ambiance or just the overall vibe. Now, last but not least, but not including the bonus, we have Halloween blankets. Now, the Halloween blankets, you're going to find a few different variations, but unfortunately, a lot of them are actually going to be branded because people love their Halloween movies and people love to snuggle up, watch some Halloween movies during the fall season and just relax on the couch. Now, because of that, you're going to find a lot of brand name ones like this one for the Halloween movie, the Hocus Pocus movie and a few others. But you can still find some more generic ones like these right here. This fleece blanket is perfect for the fall season. Same thing goes for these two right here, even though this one, Betsy Johnson, I think that's a brand name. But looking at this one, this one's perfect. Now, let me show you something that you can do to pretty much be able to bypass this and create your own designs and just have your own unique blankets. This is something that's really going to help set you apart from everyone else in the competition. Now for this, what you're going to have to do is run over to autods.com and click on the print on demand section. Once you're in the print on demand section, you're going to have all of these different products that you can print and customize. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to home and living. Now through here, you're going to scroll through and you're going to look for the throw blanket, this one right here, or you can do the premium throw blanket. Either way, it's a blanket that you can fully customize. So let's do it. This one, the cheaper one. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you can actually edit the product and upload your own design to the blanket so you can fully customize it. Now, there's one thing that you're gonna have to keep in mind. You're gonna have to upload your own design. And a lot of people aren't very good at designing. I understand that designing, it's not necessarily part of the business, but here's a hack. For this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run over to Kittle. Now, you've heard me talk about Kittle before. I absolutely love their text to image generator and it's the one that I use for pretty much all of my prints on demand products. So for this, you're just gonna run to the tools and the AI image generator. And then once you're on here, you're just going to go ahead and describe what you want. So I'm thinking of a Halloween pattern, just a Halloween pattern. So Halloween pattern with bats, ghouls, ghosts, and jack-o'-lanterns. So after that, we have to choose a style. So I'm going to go with a pattern style. So it keeps, you know, the same pattern throughout. And then we're just going to go ahead and generate the image. So this is a pattern that I came up with. What I'm going to do is I want to make it a bit more. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it. Do that a couple of different times. So I did it just enough times to be able to cover the entire square. Anything that's like out here, that's not going to that's not going to show up. So now let's go ahead and download it. Now let's run back over to Auto DS and let's go ahead and add our image. So once it's uploaded, I, I'm not sure what happened in the corner, but that's OK, because all we have to do here is just extend it a little bit. There you go. So now it's covering the entire area. Let's go ahead and preview it. And that's what your fleece is going to look like. You see how easy this was? I just created my completely customized throw blanket for my customers with my own design in less than like five minutes. So if this is something that you're interested in, if you do want to go ahead and start customizing your own products to really stand out from the crowd, then just check out the prints on demand section over at autodias.com. And remember, you can check out Kittle for the text to image generator. Now, quick note, regardless if you're using Kittle or if you're using any other AI image generator, 
if you want to have high enough quality images to be able to use for print on demand, you are going to have to pay for the subscription. There's unfortunately no way to go around it. Pretty much any image generator that you use, if you use the free version, you're not going to get high quality images. They're all going to be low quality and really no website or no print on demand website or supplier. They're not going to accept it. I've tried it before and they just flat out tell me we cannot use this image. It's not big enough. So that's just something to keep in mind. But if you're a designer, if you use Photoshop, if you know how to use it, then this should be a lot easier for you. So once we're done and we see what it's going to look like and we approve it, all we got to do is click on save. And then this is going to be updated and transferred to our draft section where we can then make it go live on our store within a few minutes. Now, I know I promised you a bonus and what I just showed you might have seemed like the bonus, but that's not it. So there's an extra little bonus I wanted to show you, which is Halloween costumes. And I know the problem with Halloween costumes, it's the fact that they're all branded. Everyone wants to dress up like Spider-Man. Everyone wants to dress up like Barbie. Everyone this year is going to definitely want to dress up as Deadpool and Wolverine, which by the way, that was a fantastic movie. I absolutely loved it. Cracked up the entire time. Shake on it. Ah, nicked it. Just got the tip with your little steak knife. But let's let's take a look at this. Let's see how we can drop ship costumes without getting in trouble or without having any copyright issues. So take, for example, a Barbie costume. This is one thing that I was actually able to implement last year because the Barbie and Ken movie came out and it was kind of an easy way to get around this. So you can't flat out say that you're going to be selling a Barbie costume. And if it says Barbie like these right here, forget about it. Don't even try. But something like this one, like the outfit that she was wearing in the movie or one of the other ones like this one or even these right here, you can sell these. Even though you're not going to be marketing it as Barbie, what you can do is you can market it or you can name it as something like a pink cowboy western doll costume, something like that. Now, if you need help coming up with different names for this, we can simply just go to ChatGPT and just ask it. So give me a generic name. So I'm just telling it, give me a generic name for a Barbie costume that resembles a cowgirl. Don't include the name Barbie. It's to sell online. I'm just adding that extra tip to see what ChatGPT does. So Western cowgirl costume set. Perfect. Now you can add to this Western cowgirl doll costume set because it's a Barbie doll. Now, just for the heck of it, let's check out for a Wolverine costume. So a fierce claw hero costume. It's not a Wolverine. It's the fierce claw hero costume. So this is kind of a way to be able to get around the branding on these, because honestly, a lot of the costumes that you're going to find online, they're, they're not going to be branded. They're going to be generic. I've seen a lot for the Legend of Zelda because I actually wanted to dress up my son as it for oh, a couple of years ago. And whenever you look up, let's say Legend of Zelda costume, you're not going to find people that are actually selling it as the Legend of Zelda costume. You're going to find something like Forest Boy or Forest Warrior, things like that. And then when you look at the costume itself, it faintly resembles the character. So it's going to have some of the different features, but it's not really going to have everything because, of course, copyright. So that's just something to look out for. And that's just a quick tip for you if you want to dropship costumes. So what did you think of today's list? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment the hashtag Halloween and let me know which one of these products was your favorite. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means a lot. Please make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification if you're still watching, which pretty sure if you're still watching, you enjoyed it. So just do all three. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping businesses and I catch you all next time.